Hi, this is Dion Taylor. I'm a senior consultant here at CBiz MHM. And today I want to talk a little bit about a new feature that was introduced in Dynamics CRM 2013 called Business Rules. Business rules are really a way to provide cu custom business logic through a simple to use user interface and kind of eliminate the need to write JavaScripts to handle such logic, right? Of course, we're not going to get rid of JavaScript altogether, but there are certain things now that we can do with business rules so we won't have to use JavaScript. And this can actually be a good thing because the JavaScript doesn't always work on the mobile versions or the iPad or other tablet versions, but the business rules will actually uh, work. So what we can do with business rules uh, is, for example, say, hey, if this field contains data, then hide this field or unhide this field. Or uh, maybe you want to make another field required if another field has data in it. So there's a couple of different things uh, that we can do with business rules. So one of the things that I've seen with some of my customers is the need to pre-populate the price list uh, field on the opportunity form if they are using the product catalog because the way that it is without using the business rules is that you would actually have to go into this price list field then you would have to select a price list uh, that you want to use for that opportunity and then of course you got to change the revenue to show a system calculated so that they won't have to manually put in that information it would be kind of nice to uh, to be able to automate that, right? So let's take a look at that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the form in customization mode. You see here on the ribbon the business rules button. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to create a new business rule. So as you can see here, the first thing it wants you to do is to enter a name. So I'm just going to make that set price list field. Uh, and currently I know that there's only one price list in there, but even if I would have more price lists in my product catalog, I always want it to set the price list field to the standard price list. And obviously I only want to set the price list field if there is no value in that field on the opportunity form. So as you see right here, it tells you what form this business rule is uh, going to be working on. And that's also what you see over here in the scope. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a condition. And we know that the name of the field is price list. So I'm going to say if the price list field does not contain data, that's when I want it to, uh, to do the following. So that's going to be my condition. And then underneath there, we have our action. Okay, so what do we want to do if that price list fields field does not have data? I can show an error message. I can set a field value. I can make change the field to be become business required. I can make it. Uh, I can set the visibility by making it appear or disappear, and I can make a field read only, or I can make it from read only now a right field as well. In this case I'm going to set the field value so I'm going to click that and the field I want to set is again the price list field and I want to set the price list field to the following value and this is my standard I only have one price list that I want to set it to. So again my condition is if the price list field does not have data in it then I want to set the price list field to the value of standard, which is my the name of my price list. And of course, you can put in a description here is, if you want to as well. And when you're done with that, you can just hit save and close or save. And then you can activate your business rule. As you can see, you can't really do else if statements, right? So for example, if the price list does not contain data, do this. Else if the price list does contain data, then do this. So in this case, if it does have data, we don't want it to do anything anyways. So we won't have to create 
a different rule for if the price list does have data. Normally with other business rules, you will have to do it for both sides, right? If it does have data, do this. If it does not have data, do this. So be aware of that. So I'm just going to go and activate this business rule. And again, since this is the same thing as JavaScripting, which kind of means that this is going to be on the client side, which means that this is only going to happen if somebody actually opens up the uh, the opportunity forum in this case, right? So this is not going to set all of those fields uh, to that price list of standard. Uh, it will not be, it will only happen if somebody would actually go ahead and open that particular opportunity form. So now let's open up the opportunity. And now if we scroll down here, we'll see that the standard price list has been selected. Obviously, we can do the same thing for revenue to show this as user provided, but the other way, probably the better way to do this, is to just mark that field to automatically set it to system provided to make that the default value. If you have any questions in regards to the video you just watched or about Microsoft Dynamics CRM, feel free to either send me an email to detailer at cbiz.com or call me directly by dialing 561-922-6103. Thank you so much.